What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. We are back with some more new look rebuilds as yesterday we did the Timberwolves and today we're going to be doing the new look Philadelphia 76ers. Before we get into today's video, make sure you guys drop a like this one. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, comment down the next team you guys want to see down in the comment section below. Most liked comment is a team I will do next if we haven't done them already, of course. Uh, but I feel like we've only done five teams, so we still have plenty of teams left to do for this series before 2K23 drops. And then we'll be off and running again. It'll be high vibes like usual. But regardless, this team actually had a really good offseason. Joel Embiid obviously still being here. Uh, James Harden took a contract that was really friendly for the 76ers. That way they could go get P.J. Tucker and also Daniel House. And of course, they also uh, brought in DeAnthony Melton on draft night. So honestly, very successful offseason for Daryl Morey and the 76ers. And honestly, if James Harden, uh, he's been kind of working out early this offseason. He looks great from the photos I've seen. If he can return to form, Houston form, we will take that. Philadelphia will take that each and every day. Now, I'm not sure we should expect that, but man, if he could, that'd be kind of crazy. Regardless, though, uh, for the first offseason, like usual, boys, we don't do anything. We want to see how this team's going to do without me touching anything. So, P.J. Tucker is going down overall. So, I know eventually in this video, I'm definitely going to have to replace P.J. Tucker as a starting power forward. I do want to keep James Harden uh, for the foreseeable future here in Philly. So, we'll see. How well that goes for us but i'll have to look at shot tendencies and like i said i want james harden to turn back the clock for philadelphia in real life and look like houston james harden go out there and score 30 a night if you can like you don't really need to do that obviously because you do have maxi and joel and bead but like do something similar i guess like maybe it's like 25 a night just do something like that but regardless power ranking has is very high so this is what the starting five looks like so it's James Harden, Maxi, Tobias Harris, P.J. Tucker, Joel Embiid. So it's kind of interchangeable at this point. I mean, positionless in a way where Tucker and Harris will be the starting forwards. That's obvious. And then Maxi and uh, Harden will be your starting guards. And then Joel Embiid obviously is your center. You have Melton off the bench. You have Matisse Thibel off the bench. I heard rumors they were trying to trade him. So I guess we could maybe continue that in today's video and maybe look to move him if we want to. Daniel House off the bench and Paul Reed off the bench. So that leaves um shake milton and some other guys on the bench that i feel like should get minutes but it's okay i mean we can use them in trades later on proficiency lands us at a four star pro, uh post centric um but we can be a four star balance i'll so probably on it on a balance system i don't really run post centric all that much so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and go to balance and then i do want to look at shot tendency for this team to see what we're looking like and doc rivers is still the head coach so we'll see if he can finally put together a good season and a good uh, postseason run. But shot tendencies, we have Joel Embiid at a 99. I want to move James Harden up to a 95. And then Maxi to like an 84-ish, 85-ish. We'll do that. Harris is like 75. And then uh, P.J. Tucker. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't want him to take like a bunch of shots. But I feel like 18 is a little disrespectful. We'll go 55. The other thing like 68 off the bench. Okay, I'm cool with that. So let's go ahead and simulate this season. Let's see how this Philadelphia 76ers roster does before I do anything. Then one last look at uh, my financial situation because I do want to see what contracts we have expiring and stuff like that. If I can find that right though. Sour cap breakdown. So Charles is going to be a free agent. We have Maxi on a team option. Shake Milton will be a free agent. George's Nang and then Matisse Dybul will be a free agent. And then PJ Tucker has two years left in his contract, which PJ Tucker could be a nice trade chip next year with that $11 million expiring contract. So there definitely is some guys like Matisse Dybul, like I said, is somebody the 76ers were looking to trade. So maybe we can stop at the trade deadline and trade him away. We'll see. I'm going to summon the season, see how things are going. If I can find a good trade, the trade deadline we will execute it. If not, we'll keep it going. So I am at the trade deadline and I'm looking to reinforce my backup center situation. And right now, Rashawn Holmes looks like a guy that could definitely help out with that. So basically somebody I don't look to trade for that often. I feel like it can make a lot of sense. He also used to play in Philadelphia, averaging nine and eight right now in a block per game off the, uh, off the, or yeah, probably off the bench for uh, Sacramento. So Matisse, Stiebel, and Korkmaz, could we get Rashawn Holmes for this? And they agree. So just like that, we get a good backup center and Rashawn Holmes to back up Joel Embiid. That way we don't have much of a fall off after that. And then we do look and then we do get rid of uh, Matisse Stiebel like they were trying to in real life. And then that will actually go ahead and Paul Reed will still be in the rotation, which is fine. But I might play him at the four instead. Uh, that way we kind of have uh, not two centers out there at the same time. So something like that. And then so with Rashawn Holmes being here, I think that like solidifies our bench even more. Uh, get rid of Matisse Stiebel and freaking Korkmaz and we get... Rashawn Holmes, very happy with that trade. That should make us even better. So I like the addition of him, but we're going to keep simulating right now. We are the first seed, so things are going very well 
Let's keep it going. So at the end of the season, Luka wins MVP. Chet's your rookie of the year. Drummond's sixth man. Isaac's defense player in Orlando. Wiseman most improved. And Doc Rivers coach of the year. As we went 60 and 22. So bringing in Rashawn Holmes helped out a lot. I mean, we were already the first seed though. So I'm not sure like it changed anything. But all NBA first team. Uh, no Joel Embiid, which is quite interesting. But he does. And Joel Embiid and James Harden both make all NBA teams, which is great to see. So that would mean James Harden could definitely opt out of his player option and get like a lot of money this offseason, which I assume is what he plans on doing in real life like he signed that contract in a way where he could opt out and uh, if he has a bad season he can opt into it still make 30 million or if he has a great season opt out get his bag and then he's paid for probably his last big contract of his career so player stats we had 26 from james harden so he led the way which is actually really cool to see like i said i want to see harden turn back the clock a little bit if he could do this in real life philadelphia would be very happy 26 from joel b 20 from tyrese maxi 13 from harris 13 from anthony melton and then nine for pj tucker and nine and seven off the bench for Sean Holmes, a block as well. So yeah, very, very good backup center. So I'm happy we were able to bring him in. I'm pretty sure he used to play for Philadelphia, didn't he? Yeah, he did. So happy to have him here. Paul Reed with six points off the bench and then uh, five from Daniel House. So here we go, man. It's all about winning a championship though. So Philadelphia is one of those teams when I simulate whether I'm using a Western Conference team or an Eastern Conference team, they're tough to beat and they usually end up winning a championship year number one. So I'm assuming I could do that. We get to play Toronto, which is a team they're familiar with. They just played this team last year. Joel Embiid hit a crazy game winner on them in one of those games. So let's see if we can continue uh, beating up on Toronto. We beat them by 30 game one, game two, two to zero, 33 from D'Anthony. If you're getting 33 and you're getting D'Anthony Mott average 25 points per game in the playoffs, they're going to be tough to beat. Game three, up three to zero, and we are going to beat them in five. Gentlemen, sweep style. Yes. Yeah, so we beat the Toronto Raptors in five, 36. PJ Tucker at 21, shooting six to 10 from three, averaging 17 in the playoffs. Love to see it. 18 from Maxi. So yeah. All of our role players are really good right now, so we cannot complain. All right. Do we get Miami or Cleveland? We get Cleveland. So I was about to say we get a rematch against Miami, but no. We get Cleveland. So Cleveland's got themselves a really good core. I want to do a new look Cavs rebuild soon as well. Garland, Okoro, Osman, Mobley, Jared Allen. But I don't know if I should wait until they have the Colin Sexton situation figured out. So maybe we should. Regardless, though, maybe it won't. I don't know when that'll be solved. Game one. We are up 1-0, 145 to 118. I mean, this team right now it's just too good everyone's just scoring at will so i'm feeling pretty confident right now two to one uh maybe i spoke too soon and just like that is an even series game five we're up three to two do we beat them in six we do so they give us a little bit of a scare that scare there but we do end up being cleveland that's a team we got to look out for going forward uh but if we could beat atlanta here who have deandre hunter Dejounte, they have a good team as well in atlanta so We'll see if we can beat them. Game one, we're down one to zero. Atlanta might come out here, which Atlanta is one of those teams that has upset Philadelphia in the past. This isn't looking good, boys. I think we're going to get swept by the Atlanta Hawks. We got swept by Atlanta. Wow. So we got the Atlanta Hawks going on to win a championship. Trey Young is your finals MVP, and we get swept in the Eastern Conference Finals. So that's my luck, man. I feel like every time I simulate, I see the 76ers win a championship year number one. But of course, when I'm taking them over, like we end up losing. Eric Gordon retires, so that's a potential target we could have had. Uh, as long as PJ Tucker didn't retire, that's what matters to me because I kind of want to use his salary potentially in a trade because he's going to go down overall, and he, Kyle Lowry, retires as well. Okay, to the draft we go. Uh, so this should be an interesting offseason because I think Tobias Harris's contract is an expiring contract. And so is PJ Tucker. So we could potentially pull off some big trades this offseason. So Orlando, you got San Antonio, and then Sacramento in the top of the draft. So that's not a situation where Sacramento wants to be. And then our pick is going to go to actually we have it, which is nice. I'm pretty sure that pick doesn't belong to us, though, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm pretty sure it belongs to um the Jazz now, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So I think I'm gonna give that pick to the Jazz because I know the 76 or the Nets decided not to take the Nets draft or the 76 I'm tr you get what I'm trying to say you know what I'm trying to say if you know you know so pretty sure I'm not supposed to have this pick regardless but big man coach I'm gonna sign this up real quick and then we need one more guy and that's a wing whisper and then we should be able to make some trades this offseason hopefully Howard Brady I guess we're full damn all right let's go draft night so on draft night we have what do we have Harris's contract we have Tucker's contract and then we have some future picks okay so I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to have this pick but I could double check on that. And then we're going to look around the league and see if there's a potential trade on the horizon that makes sense for us to go after because we have to buy this Harris's $39 million expiring contract. Like that could get us a really good player potentially. So we got to take a look around the league.
So heading into draft night, we have actually a few second round picks. And basically what I want to do here is draft a few guys that could be maybe thrown in trades to give me some trade value because I'm looking to make a big swing here. I'm looking at like Jimmy Butler and Kevin Durant. And right now I just do not have the assets to get it done. So I'm hoping some of these guys can bring like some trade value to my roster. Don't know if they'll be able to, but it's worth a shot. So I'm going to sign all three of those guys. And then we got to see. So all three of them, I'm going to sign. And then player options, we have Daniel House accepting, Tyreek Queen. So I want as many assets as I possibly can have to pull off a trade. It's better to pull off a trade before draft night, but here we are. So Harden's a free agent. Of course, I want to bring him back. LeBron James a free agent as well, but mainly want to bring in uh, James Harden back. But we still have to buy a Saracen's expiring contract. So the guys I wanted to go after again were like Kevin Durant and the Jimmy Butler of the world. It's like if I could pull those off, because the Nets just went 38 and 44, so they didn't have a good year. But I doubt like I have the ammunition to pull this off. So I'm going to try it though. Jalen Washington has one and a half. I'm just want to see what the trade value is on some of these guys. Yeah, it's not good. Jane Springer's got two star at least. Uh, D'Anthony Mellon probably has some trade value. Yeah. And Brandon Miller, two star. So I guess we have some two star trade value that's not going to go through though. So, all right. So we have some guys here that are two star trade value and more. Uh, I'll offer my first round pick unprotected in this one. I'll throw this for Kevin Durant. They do not agree, of course. That's going to be really hard to pull off. The next one I want to try is Heat's Jimmy Butler in Miami because they keep getting eliminated in the playoffs. So if I offer this same package for Jimmy Buckets, they don't agree to that either. Okay. What else do I want to go for? Giannis Antetokounmpo. Not going to happen. All right. What else? Chris Middleton. That would probably be accepted. I want a good forward, but I just don't know. Like Jason Tatum obviously would be cool. Kawhi Leonard? No. That's not going to happen. I could probably get Paul George from the Clippers, though. If I brought in Paul George, that'd be fun. I don't know. I want a Jimmy Butler or Kevin Durant because I feel like those are the two guys that Philadelphia could get, but I just can't pull it off in 2K without, like, going finessing. You know what I mean? Like, I can't do it. Ben Simmons, bring him back to Philadelphia. Why not? Let's do that. So I wanted a really good forward, but I, I don't think I'll be able to find it because I like my backcourt. Scotty Barnes, like, obviously, I can get Siakam and... Oh, you know, but I feel like I do that so much. I don't want to just bore you guys with the same trades over again. So Mikael Bridges would be cool. So I guess the only other one I have in mind would be Paul George from the Clippers that the Clippers for some reason decided to tear it down. So that's the other guy I'm going to go for. I want to make a big trade. I'm going to try to do this without a little bit. Okay, so let's say Tobias Harris, Jane Springer, and then two first round picks for Paul George. Would they accept this? They do not agree to that just yet. I'll offer Brandon Miller, two and a half star trade value. Not going to agree to it just yet. I'll offer a second round pick. They don't agree. Okay. If Melton was in the trade, they might have accepted this already. I'm going to offer Tyree Queen and they don't agree. They are not interested. I threw Salas. Not interested in this trade. We're getting closer. I feel like we're getting closer to the end. Washington. No, I feel like if Melton was in the trade. They accept it. Do I throw Melton in the trade? They agree. Okay. We get Paul George on the Philadelphia 76 or so the Clippers decide to tear it down we bring paul george as our brand new small forward get rid of tobias harris we get paul george on the roster to put ourselves at that elite level so i'm happy with it and then of course we're going to resign james harden to his big fat extension and then shake milton i'm probably going to want back as well at this point and then paul reed probably going to need him for some depth so we're going to sign all three of these guys and just like that we pulled off what we wanted to pull off i wanted jim butler or kevin durant i thought those two would made a lot more sense but i'll settle for paul george he'll be an easier to trade for so just like that Trading Anthony Mountain does suck, but you have Harden, Maxi, Paul George, Daniel House, PJ Tucker, Paul Reed, and Joel Embiid and Rashawn Holmes. That is a legit starting five. That is going to be very, very interesting in the Eastern Conference. We do need a really good backup guard, though. Gabe Vincent, Gary Harris, one of these guys would be awesome. Seth Curry could bring back to Philly, but I like the idea of Gabe Vincent as my backup guard. So I'm going to go Gabe Vincent here, and then we can get like Will Barton still as well. So I'll sign Will Barton, and we have ourselves legitimate team out east and i'm really liking it so i know james harden and paul george are probably gonna go down pj tucker probably gonna go down like crazy and overall so maybe we should look to trade pj tucker right now for a, a different power forward i do like him but i feel like he's gonna go down like crazy so i mean if i get a different power forward option chris boucher but i might just kyle anderson i guess in a second round pick kyle anderson would be probably better than pj tucker T tucker's gonna go down like crazy so you know what i'm gonna make the trade happen Let's go to player progression, see how it treats us. And we have uh, Paul George and James Harden both going down too. I'm pretty sure PJ Tucker would have went down like crazy. So let's see if that was the case. If he did not want to be upset, he went down to 76. It's not too bad. 
I thought he was going to be around like a 73, 74, but whatever. It's all good. So now we have a new starting five of Harden, Maxi, Paul George, Joel Embiid. I mean, this should be a, a really good team. I mean, I don't see why this team doesn't succeed. I just loaded the wrong draft class. I'll fix that in a second. But regardless, let's go look at the rotation. So looking at this team, James Harden, Maxi, Paul George, Kyle Anderson, Joel Embiid, Rashawn Holmes, Gabe Vincent, Paul Reed, and Daniel House. This should be a legitimate team in the East. I don't see how this team gets stopped. Four and a half star balance. Paul George re reunited with Doc Rivers. Let's run it this season. Let's go win a championship for the Philadelphia 76ers after that big move of acquiring Paul George. So at the end of the season, Luka Doncic, your MVP in Dallas once again. Scooter wins rookie of the year in Utah. Colin Sexton, six man, Giannis Fence player. Kaminga most approved in Doc Rivers, coach of the year. Once again, 61 and 21, and really good year out of us. I'll be a first team. No Philadelphia 76ers again, but all NBA second team. You had Joel Embiid. All NBA third team, you had James Harden. So no uh, Paul George here. All defense first team and all defensive second team. I really wanted Jimmy Butler for this team, to be honest with you, because bringing him back to Philly would have been like justice in a way. But unfortunately, it just really couldn't pull it off. And Clippers, D'Anthony Mel Melton makes all defensive second team. So I was sad about trading Melton away. But I mean, this is to win a championship, man. We did it all. We went for it, brought in. Paul George, 22, 21, 23, 26. I mean, what more could you want out of your big four? This is a super team, if I do say so myself. So hopefully this team can get it all done here and we win a championship and we go home, ladies and gentlemen. But now we get the Charlotte Hornets in round one. I do not fear the Hornets. They have Drummond, Nas Reed. I like Nas Reed, but I mean, I feel like the, I just don't fear this team. So we should not lose. If we end up losing to the Hornets, a seated style, I'm going to be super upset. So many current round and bro oh my goodness i was scared there but we do beat them in six lamello drops 33 james harden 38 so now we get the team that eliminated us in the eastern conference finals last year the jante and trey young so this could be this could be tough let's see what happens game one we come back with reinforcements though so good luck guarding this team game two my controller batteries are low but that's okay i'll replace them after this video game three Three to zero, and we get revenge, and we beat them in five. Yes, we're in the Eastern Conference Finals going up against another team we're familiar with, and that is the Boston Celtics, who have Brogdon, Jalen Brown, uh, Jason Tatum, Grant Williams, Robert Williams. So they have a really good team in Boston, but of course, I feel like we're the better team. So can we get to the finals? Game one, we lose, lose by six. Damn, okay. Game two, we even it up. So we win by two. Joel Embiid drops 42. We need him to be dominant. Game three... We got to win game four. We do. Okay, so this is a huge game five against Boston. In Philadelphia, the fans are running wild, man. We got swept in the Eastern Conference Finals last year. We're looking to actually make it to the finals this year. Get James Harden to his first finals appearance. Or it's not his first finals appearance. He did it in Oklahoma City. And we're going to lose game five in Philadelphia. Not where we want to be, man. This is not good, bro. Boston is such a good team. All right. We got to run an eight-man rotation. I got... I got to do it man we have to win this game we cannot afford to lose this one game six in boston we gotta lock it in we gotta force the game seven back to philadelphia please please Embiid, lock it in hard and lock it in paul george go off please i gave up so much ammunition to make this team and it looks good so far it looks like we are going to bring them back to philadelphia so a game seven in philadelphia right where we want them obviously i would have loved to win this series earlier but it is what it is here we go Game seven in Philly. We have to win to get to the finals. Can we do it? It's not looking good. Uh, we take the lead here and we're running away with it. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Close game. Oh my goodness. Super close game. We take, okay, we take a really good lead. And I think it's safe to say, boys, we've beat the Celtics in seven. James Harden drops 40 and we're finally in the NBA finals. We get to play the Timberwolves and our final series going up against Cat and Gobert, Edwards, DeAndre Russell. So the same starting five. I just did a Timberwolves rebuild yesterday, and I think Philadelphia was a team that beat me yesterday. So game one, beat them in, uh, beat them by five. Or Edwards drops 56, and they still lose. Come on now. We, we got to win this. Game two, two to zero. Game three, three to zero. And can we sweep the Timberwolves? We do. And just like that, we bring a championship to Philadelphia. Our big acquisition was getting Paul George on this team. Again, I think Philadelphia could be in a good position to maybe swing for Kevin Durant if he's still available next year. Or if Jimmy Butler becomes unhappy in Miami, bring him back to Philadelphia. And there you go. So Philadelphia could be a very, very good team coming soon. Tyrese Maxey has one. He had one year left in his rookie contract. So that helped out a lot as well. 
But that will end it off for me, man. This is your Philadelphia team we ended off with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, comment down below the next team you guys want to see. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.